have made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plain meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion. And the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came. The place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nirn has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever, but their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world. But your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? The sense of the harbor is filled with here. But what happened? How did we return? Lyris? Lyris? Are you there? Not to worry, not to worry. Lyris is fit as a fiddle, and you all seem quite intact as well. I'm here, sire. But where's Tharn? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with it. That bastard. Sai died for that amulet. The amulet's power is expended for generations to come. It will be of no use to him now. Things feel different. 
Molog Bald's hold on my mind has been lifted. I am finally free of him. And so it ends. I pray that it has, at any rate. My part in this story has ended, but yours has only begun. The world has been made right for now, but it is still wounded and in need of tending. I cannot say, but I do not think the scrolls have finished with me. Perhaps one day we shall meet again. If it is destined that we shall meet again, then destiny will find a way. For me, I think it's best that I should be forgotten by this world. Let me become a sad footnote in Tamriel's long history. I deserve nothing more. I have no more prophecies to impart, no more strategies to suggest, no more riddles to ponder. I am just a man, a flawed man, and perhaps that is just as it should be. Farewell, Vestige. Walk in the light, always. We did it. Tamriel will go on. But what a terrible price we had to pay. I'll bring the news of Sai's death to Kasura at the Abbey of Blades. Maybe I'll stay there for a while. Help rebuild. Sai would want that. After that, I don't know. Grief doesn't change us. It reveals us. <laughs> That's what my father always said. I'll mourn Sai in my own way. I loved him. I know that now. There's a big, deep hole of aching inside me. Even when I'm finished mourning him, it's not going to go away. I've never been able to sit still long. Eventually, the road will call. But where I'll wind up? <laughs> Who knows? Roads are for journeys, not destinations. Maybe we'll run into each other again. Have a drink. Maybe crack some skulls for old time's sake. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Couldn't be happy. Smashing. Truly. I don't know that the world will ever see the like of Sai Sahan again. He was the embodiment of loyalty and discipline. Qualities that he tried to share, not by word, but by deed. You can make use of that. He's part of you now, you know? Our noble Redguard friend may have shuffled off this mortal coil, but his spirit will live on through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just one bit of business left. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. But then, if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, would we? Still itching for more adventure? Smashing. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you?
You're awake. Ha, I was worried you'd never wake up. You slept all the way from Canarthi's roost, right through the hurricane. You don't remember? A Khajiit named Razumdar fished you out of the ocean. He paid me a small fortune to bring you here. We barely made it out of Canarthi's roost before the hurricane hit. He was headed to Eagle Strand, an old fort on Canarthi's roost. My ship won't return there for some time, but a bosun on the far dock can take you. Look for a sugar claws. What do you want? Wait, never mind. I don't want to know. I'm not taking on any fares today. You're damned right there's something wrong. I needed to sail for Velen Harbor hours ago. I've got cargo steel to load and crew members deep in their cups around town. I'd let the guard have the lot of them if I could afford it. There's coin in it for you if you do. Let's see. Tanamo favors the tavern, Anala spars at the Fighters Guild, and Balathil was visiting the market. Don't know where DeGale's gotten to. One of the others may know where she is. So many visitors, so little time. Fair day, visitor. I'm Astania, watch captain. I'll need you to state your name for the record. Extra precautions with Queen Irene in town, you understand. I'll just write that down. By order of the first Oridon Marines, your presence in Valkelgard has been registered. Do your best to stay out of trouble and out of the way. Fare you well. Help? No, I don't think so. Actually, my guardsmen are all tied up right now. If you're up to it, perhaps you could look into some things for me. Good. I want you to speak with two members of the Queen's Court, Advisor Norian and Steward Aminwe. They await assistance from the Guard, hands I can't spare just now. Who do you want to speak to first? So what's your answer? 